Katie Price is no stranger to television studios or this studio in particular, but today she joins us not as a model or an author or as one half of this country's favourite celebrity couple. Today she's simply here as mum. Okay, do you want to give mummy one? No. Feed mummy one. That's what I knew I was going to do. Right, pick them up and put them on the plate now. All of it. All of it. Get up. Put them all on the plate. You do not do that, do you? And Katie joins us now <laughs> with six-year-old Harvey. And welcome. Thank you for coming I've swamped today. mum today. You said, uh, just before we came on air, you said, of all the telly I've done, this is the one that I'm most nervous about. Most nervous, because I'm normally in control of myself, but Harvey is so unpredictable. I mean, people at home, you don't realise what it was like to get him from out there into here. Yeah. And now he's here. Well, we, uh, we did our live trail earlier on, about ten minutes before the programme yeah. started, and, uh, and you were just bringing him then. And, and he was playing up then. Playing up a bit. But, but the thing is that, you know, this is, this is your real life. This is, this is what you spend a lot of your time yeah. doing, cajoling. And, and, and it's quite obvious, and we, we spent the morning watching the two of you together. Um, yeah. and, and you really do know, obviously, because you're mum. You've got yeah. the routine, you know what's what's the right time to do things, what's the wrong time to do things, and he does have a very set routine, doesn't he? It's a completely set routine. Like today, I was worried because I thought, oh no, we're going to a different place because he's not, he doesn't really like familiar places. Mm. But, um, do you want to sit up, Harvey? Go on in, good boy. Good and boy. say, hello, Fern. Hello, Fern. And say, hello, hello Phil. Hello, Harvey. And hello, say, Harvey. look at the camera, say, hello this morning, viewers. You see, it, we that? know we know a lot. Well, we think we know a lot about you and Peter and the children. But yeah. it's, this is your real life. You know, it, we could imagine that for the cameras, yes, you have your arms around him and you're talking to him and you're with the yeah. kids. But when the cameras are off, you've got a team of nannies and whatever, and you and Pete can go and do what you like. Yeah. But we were talking to you earlier. You you don't have a, a network of people at home no. with you. Yes, you have a nanny and your mum. But that's about it. It's you yeah. and Peter. And like I was saying, look, like, with the other kids, Princess and Junior, say if me and Pete want to go out for the night, we can easily say to someone, oh, can you look after Junior and Princess? But Harvey, I can't. Mm. It's only like my mum and like a nanny that can have him, even friends and I, you can't because of his uh, medical side. If it, something happens, he needs his emergency cortisol injection. You just have to know what to tell the ambulance people. And, mm. If he gets a temperature, it can get so high that he normally ends up in hospital. It's just all different things. So, so, so uh, we know that he has something called uh, septic optic dysplasia. Yeah, his actual condition is septic optic dysplasia, and it's also um, the pituitary gland. He's got hormone deficiencies as well. Yeah. Is but, he riding um, his horses? Is that what's going on there? Do you like God knows horses? what he's doing. What are you doing, Harvey? What are you doing? Playing, <laughs> just playing. Anyway, yes. So sorry. Yeah. And and what? Well, how does that affect him? And and you know the, his other problems because <coughs> I think um, autistic, which oh, he's on the autistic <coughs> spectrum, which I always knew, but he's only been diagnosed with it recently. Uh -huh. So tell um, us the problems. Especially with that. I mean, I'm not worried about his eyes at all. Later on, I'll show you that he knows shapes, colours, and things. Whereas before, when they told me he was blind, I was like, oh my god, he's not going to be able to do this or that. Um, but it's his behaviour that I'm actually worried about because he's so unpredictable and when he gets bigger and strong, stronger he's mm -hmm. just going to be more difficult to handle. Mm. So it's and just knowing how to talk to him, how to, you know, it's just, well, I just know how to do it. What time oh, yeah. did your day start today? How, how does it normally I work? I was up at 10 to 6 because I had to be a princess. She was up, but I was like a zombie in the night, you know, with a bottle walking along like that. There's your bottle, back to bed. Um, but in the mornings he is a nightmare, absolute nightmare because he doesn't want to get dressed. Um, doesn't want to go to school, but once he's there, he loves it. But so today, I said, "Mummy's black car," and he thought we was going shopping. Oh, you see, so. seven years ago, you were on the party scene. You were everywhere. The yeah. very, very famous, topless, gorgeous, yeah. big-bosomed model. And then suddenly, you found yourself pregnant, and it. You know, you think, well, everybody thinks they're going to have this beautiful, hundred yeah. percent healthy child. 
and unfortunately for you, it didn't quite work that way. And so yeah. how has it altered you as, as a um, woman, the woman you were and the woman you are? I think when they told me, when the social worker said, oh, um, he doesn't seem to be focusing on the light, and I just thought inside, oh, no, here we go, what's wrong? And she said, you know, I think you should see your doctor. Then I saw the doctor, and he said, no, this isn't right. So I sort of prepared myself for the worst anyway. Yeah. And so when they told me he was blind, I just felt sorry for him, really. Yeah. But I thought, I'm not going to treat him any different. In, in a way, it probably made me love him more because mm. he needed more protection. Yes. And what about, what about uh, uh, Junior and Princess and, and the, the relationship between the, mm. them all together? Harvey doesn't really like anyone or anything unless it suits him. Mm -hmm. Junior knows when to sort of go near him, when not. And Princess, she's had a few clips around the uh, head by him. So they sort of know not to sort of go near him. I would never leave him in a room with them, ever. Well, he, he, says he doesn't know his own strength, and he is a big boy, because there's yeah. also the, a hormonal imbalance going on, isn't there? Do we know what that's Yeah, Yeah, he's, uh, he's on medication three times a day. Uh, he has a growth hormone injection. You know I'm like needles. I have to give him one every night in his leg. And you um, do it. I have to do it. Mm. Um, but yeah, he has medication to control his waterworks. He's cortisol deficient, for example. If you run for a bus and you're really like knackered or stressed from it, you've got the hormone in the body to get you back to normal, if you know mm. what I mean. Yeah. But he hasn't, so he has to have medication for that as well. Mm. So if he has an accident or something, he normally has to have a cortisol injection. Mm. Um, otherwise, he can fit and. You know, well, he has sure. had, uh, he has, uh, 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 there's nothing happens in your family without everybody finding out Yeah, about like the it. burn on his leg, as yes, you can all says, see. Yes, that is a nasty burn on his leg, isn't it? It was horrific, absolutely horrific, but he loves me itching it, don't you? He's got me to itch it. Does it feel there nice? There you go. Ooh, is that nice? lovely. <laughs> and then, obviously, the mirror yeah. fell on him. <laughs> and I was never home at any of this, so I'm not to blame for any of it. Not that I should say it anyway. Mm. But I just feel sorry for him, because it always happens mm. to him. Mm. But he's such a strong... Strong boy. You, um, we've, we've been talking about you coming on and, and just being you, uh, yeah. uh, the pair of you, for, for a long time. I'm what? actually not making a joke about anything for once. No. What, what, no. what made you want to come on and, and do that? I wanted to come on, because like with the reality show, you know, it shows me being really moody and Pete being all the happy one, but people don't really see why I get moody, you know, I don't edit the show, which is cool by me, because I know I'm not like that all the time. And like with Harvey, it never really shows how difficult he is. Um, so I wanted to come on to talk about his condition, his behaviour, and just to help other people out there, to show you shouldn't be ashamed because you've got a disabled child. To me, he's normal, and I love him just like I love the other kids. Because and he's special to me. Yeah, exactly. He's special. Yeah. Would you change anything? Never. If I, you know, and that's one thing that I hate. No disrespect to anyone out there, because we all cope completely different. You know, respite help you can get, and um, don't squash me, Harvey, sit up. <laughs> and, you know, you can board them, and, but I would never. He's home, he comes home, and he stays at home. I don't ever want him to stay away from home. He's part of the family. And, yeah, he's difficult, but that, that's my life, so deal with it. And what's his long-term uh, prospects? Um, well, they said he would never see, and then they said they might not walk or they might not talk. Um, but he certainly can see. Yeah, if you've got any shapes or anything, I'll do the test on all him right. and well, see. We've got a... We don't want to, you know, it's only... Oh, he's right. We don't he's want him to, to perform. perform. No. no, no. Harvey, what's this? What shape is that? Circle. Very Excellent. Good, Harvey. What shape is that? Square. You are so good. Should we look at some colours? OK. What colour is that? Pink. Excellent. And what colour is that one? Purple. Good boy. Excellent. So he does know his um, shape. And before yeah. anybody thinks okay, that you perhaps more, Harvey Katie it, brought then. these things in herself, they didn't. We just found, found these. Found them around the studio, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't want it to look like um, like a circus act no. where I brought things on. And so at school, he goes to he goes to school um, every day. Every day, yeah. Monday to Friday. It's actually sports day the other day. And it was really sweet. Um, they had a mum and dad's race, and Pete really did try and win it, but he didn't. And I, I had my Ugg boots on, so I couldn't run very fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was fascinating, even to watch a sports day at a blind school, completely different to a sighted school. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, because you have to run with them. And then he had a running race. He wouldn't do it. He was just all trying to hold on to me, putting his finger in his ear. But don't turn your back. Turn around. Yes, OK, do right. you want your ruler? All right. Do OK, do you, you want like. something else? Do you want your yellow stick? Yeah. Okay, you want your ruler? I'll get it. 
There we go. So this is what it's like. Steve, okay, well, uh, it's then. fantastic to see you, Katie. My admiration for you grows every time I meet you. Oh, and um, so thank you. Do you want to That's dispel right. anything while you're here? I was looking at some of the magazines this morning. You're too thin. You're stressed out. You want to divorce Pete. You, oh, then you've put God. weight on. Then you. <laughs> well, how are things? Are, are you divorcing Pete? Do you know? I'm going to say something. No, I'm not divorcing right. Pete. But when I read these magazines, it's only the one that's called Loser that writes all this. I mean, closer. Um, <laughs> You know, every week in, week out, I don't know where they get their stuff from. Me and Pete aren't divorced, so we're actually doing our wedding bells in September. And I can't help it if I'm small. I'm on no diet. And it's like me reading about a different person. Honestly, the person I read about, I think, I feel sorry for that girl. It's like when you read about Britney Spears. I think, I'm so not that girl. But, you know, people, if they want to read it and believe it, yeah. then that's why when I do OK, Mags, it's the questions and answers. Mm. I am, um, I've had a little taste of that myself <laughs> over the last few weeks. I know, <laughs> and do you know what I say to you? Who really cares? I have to be careful. I say, who cares what anyone says? You're happy. So, thank you. Whatever. And people, if they don't like what you do, they don't watch the show, don't read about it. Yes. None of their business. It's your body. Yes. Do what you want. Mm. Well, well bless the, you for that. The but it's been we've extraordinary. Read about hasn't been anyone we know, that's for sure. No, very, very little. <laughs> but you're strong. Accurate, and but so yes, yes, nothing whatever. with a couple of vodkas doesn't you look sort brilliant. out. Anyway, <laughs> brilliant. I shouldn't say that. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 Oh, <laughs> good boy. It's lovely to see you again, Where Harvey. Is she? Really Here she good comes. To see you. Well done, Katie. Right, well thank, done. You. thank you. Thank you. Say bye bye. Bye, Harvey. And nice say thank meet, you for Harvey. having me. See you around, Harvey. Very well. Very well. <laughs> Thanks. Thank good you. Boy. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what about a competition? Here you go. Mm. £10,000 for the summer. Whether you fancy a city stay or a beach break, £5,000 from us and £5,000 from Nectar could come in pretty handy. For a chance to win £10,000, just answer this question correctly. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince had a hit with which of these songs in 1991? A. Springtime, B. Summertime, or C. Wintertime? Call 09012 93 33 33. Calls cost £1 from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 8336. Text costs £1 plus one standard network rate message. Digital satellite and cable viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2pm and calls made after this time won't be counted but may still be charged. Best of luck. Yes, good luck with that. Now, John Scott was last seen being beaten <laughs> by Katie's little sister, <laughs> Sophie. Would the designer who styled outfit B please take a step forward? Oh, she's, she's up there! Well done! You have beaten the stylist! She did you proud. Yeah, do you know, when I was watching her, she so reminds me of myself, her attitude and everything. Yeah, we scary. said the same thing. My mum's the same. Imagine three of us, a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> well, to